I am going to do a step by step Bowie That's my that's my Bo Bowie baby crying Hey preview, it's me Joyce Spring and today I'm going to show you how I remove all this makeup <laughs> You know, a bit of a background, when I was younger, I actually wore more makeup than I do now. So that is sobrang plakado ako ng makeup. And I used to do my own makeup a lot um, before when I start, when I was just starting out in TV. And so talagang lahat ng, ng you know, makeup that I could try on, whether it was concealer, foundation, base, pore minimizer, everything, I put it on. I, I would wear really thick eyeshadow. I used to love black eyeliner and all that black eyeshadow. Especially Especially because sobrang rock and roll ng background ko. But now that I'm a bit older, I'm 27 now, I actually wear less makeup than I did before. And today I'm going to show you how I take it all off. Usually I would just use an oil makeup remover, splatter it all over my face and wait for the makeup to really just kind of crumble down. But right now I am going to do a step-by-step -step Bowie! That's my that's my Bo Bowie baby crying. And now I'm going to show you a step by step on how to properly do it. Okay. So the first thing that I do, and I've got my little mirror here, is to take cleansing wipes and take all this makeup off. Um, I actually have really bad skin now because I'm about to have my period. I don't know if that's something that we could include in the video, but I just said it for full disclosure. And I'm gonna turn on my aircon now. The joys of shooting at home and working from home, not so joyful. Well, joyful, joyful, because we're working, but a lot of adjustments and things that we have to do. I'm gonna stop talking now and just remove it. So you'll notice that um, there won't be a lot of makeup that I'll be removing because I... Bowie, stop it! That's my dog, he's trying to get into the room. I don't really wear um, really thick makeup now, but what I do use is a bit of foundation to just kind of even out the skin tone around my face. And at the same time, a bit of powder. And I like to mix talaga yung cream blush on with powder blush on. So there, I just kind of do this, remove everything. See, just konti lang. Bumili talaga ako ng, ano, ng makeup remover wipes for this video. Because <laughs> I ran out of stock. And hopefully you're not hearing my dog whining in the background. Huh, I forgot to remove my contacts. Kala ko natural lang na gray yung mata ko. Wow. <laughs> okay, so remove that first and then remove my lipstick. What is a lipstick? My lipstick. <laughs> So easy to remove. And you know what I, I like to do? I actually like to put on a bit of uh, lip balm before I put on my lipstick. I just kind of leave it on while I'm doing my makeup so that my lips are super hydrated once I put on the lipstick na. This is going to be such a quick video, won't it? Bowie, stop crying! I can't tell my husband. <laughs> To come up and get him because he's also in a meeting which is what complicates the working from home setup you know we're both working and we're both very busy and we have a little baby meaning my dog bowie just kind of always bothering us so there just like that my makeup's done already um foundation's off and i am going to remove my kilai right now <gasps> i feel so vulnerable <laughs> Just removing my key light in front of you guys. But in 20, when was it? 2016? No, probably 2017. I swore to never thread my key light ever again because I used to have this super thin placado eyebrows. And my mom was just like, What are you doing? Your, your key light is actually pretty thick. But siempre yung 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 trend before is like those placado super ano de bakilay. So I had to to do that and be part of the trend. But now I just grow it out. I let it run wild as you can see. 
and I really like it. I really enjoy thick, messy eyebrows. So yeah, nula na siya. And and even when I do my my kilay, hindi na yung parang ilalain ko pa siya. I just fill it and then I brush it and then that's pretty much it. So my makeup is removed. Now I'm going to remove the gray color in my eyes. I wish I was born with gray color um, for my eyes just because it also looks so beautiful in photos and videos, but I was born with, is this gonna look like a kakatakot? <gasps> this is literally the reverse of curling your eyelashes, right? I mean, obviously my eyelashes are curled already, but it's cringe to watch someone remove their contacts. <laughs> And I just did that in this video. I'm so sorry. Um, you know, I try to be more careful with the way that I remove makeup around my eyes because obviously the skin under your eyes is super sensitive. But what can you do to remove all this makeup? You have to be a bit more thorough. And I'm trying to do that right now. See? Because I don't have a lot of makeup on, tapos na yung video na to in three minutes, <laughs> or or more, or probably a bit more, right? And one of the most underrated part of skincare is makeup removal. I don't. I am not saying that it's underrated in that not enough people are doing it, but I think we don't talk about it enough. That removing your makeup is the absolute most important thing that you could do for your skin and it is also literally my favorite part of the day um, my husband would always say that you know the the best part of your day is removing your makeup removing your heels and taking off your bra diba love? Tama. <laughs> do you want to say hi because you're here already hello that's one show Fun. Thanks, love. <laughs> so, we've been married for a couple of months now, and ever since we got married in February, we've actually just been stuck at home together, which is an entirely different conversation and video altogether. But it has its pros and cons, mostly cons, but a bit of uh, uh, mostly pros. Pala, oh my gosh, Freud and slip. Mostly pros, but a bit of cons, but nonetheless a blessing altogether. So there, that's it. This is me without my makeup. This is what my husband and my baby Bowie Pring, my Shiba Inu, would often see in the morning. And this is me. This is real. This is who I am. Um, and I actually really like this version of myself. I love makeup, but I really do enjoy letting my skin breathe. So that's it. I think that's it for this video. Um, what I would do now after I remove the makeup with the uh, makeup remover wipes is I would wash my face. And you know what I would do? I would take a bit of lip balm and I'll put it on my lips just to rehydrate it before I go on for the rest of my day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I feel so vulnerable now. Okay, that's it. Palam!